we pull up to the house and I'm just a bundle of nerves. I don't know where I'm at. I don't have my trainer. I don't have my stuff. This actually looks nice. This is real, baby. This is, this is it. This is our chance to see what it's gonna be like when we leave the ranch forever. And it's a good opportunity for us to show America. It can be done. Honey, I'm home. Leaving the ranch is gonna be tough, but everyday Americans don't have the ranch. Oh no, we've got water. So as we're exploring the house, we notice that all the cupboards are empty, and of course the refrigerator's empty. We don't have anything in here. But I think that we learned we can shop for food on a budget. We're on our own. We have money for groceries, and we can go to the grocery store, and we can pick out spinach, or we can pick out donuts. It's really easy to slide back into bad habits. Oh, we've got a spin, spin bike. bike. real bikes. Actual bikes. I don't think it's quite ready for all 308 pounds of me <laughs> just yet. Leaving the ranch is a huge risk. You're still competing against people who are having their food provided for them, who are working out with world-class trainers. That is an in insane disadvantage. Nothing like the gym no. at the ranch. No. We are at the grocery store right now picking up some supplies because our cabinets are completely empty. We have some low-sodium marinara sauce, uh -huh. some spices, chicken breasts, some eggs, uh, some spaghetti squash. The very first thing that caught my eye at the grocery store is everything now in the chip aisle. Uh, I love chips. Um, the saltier, the crunchier, the better. That could send me into a feeding frenzy. When we went to the grocery store, we made sure to get things that we knew we would like eating, but uh, we're keeping each other sort of in check. You know, me and Jackson over the last nine weeks have gotten an opportunity to know each other. What would you prefer? I actually kind of want spaghetti squash. Okay. He was Fran Salina's roommate. I spent a lot of time with Fran Salina, so I spent a lot of time with Jackson as well. What do you think they're doing right now? Uh, I'm sure Gina's talking to someone on the show about going home and quitting. Sorry. Joe's cramping up somewhere and complaining about an injury. Uh, <laughs> Taking a break. Alex is probably walking, walking the mile, mm -hmm. and Danny is running a 10K somewhere. <laughs> Realistically, we've done more today than I used to do on most days back home. So there were days back home where I tried to get out of bed as little as possible. Like I would, I would literally, I would be happy if I didn't have to leave my house one time for the entire day. To be comfortable in that type of scenario and to be comfortable in that setting and that lifestyle is, uh, it's disgusting. There is a television show that had nine seasons. <laughs> and I successfully watched all nine seasons of this 25 episode per season show in four and a half days. I just didn't like myself. And I think it's hard to like anyone else or enjoy anything when you genuinely don't like yourself and the person that you've become. Well, since it's Face Your Fears Week, like what's your biggest fear? Wake up one day, be 35, 40, 50, however old, and be upset with the way that my life's turned out, not be happy with the quality of life that I've lived and the things that I've done with my life. You could wrap my biggest fear up as being failure. And I think that's my biggest fear going into this challenge, is failure. If I fail while I still have the support of other people going through this journey with me, who's to say I'm not gonna fail completely if and when it's my time to go home? Here's to a week, an excellent week, where neither of us fall below the yellow line. Praise that. It's like 7 a.m., so it's bright and early. Ready, Jeffy? Uh, I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Jeff and I put ourselves here, and there is a lot of pressure on us to perform. We're gonna hit some coffee and then go hiking because the stuff at the house is not adequate for what we need to be doing this week. It's gonna be pretty rad. So we'll see when you get to the top. Jeff, as long as you agree to not defecate on the path, I won't put you on your leash, okay? Sounds good. All right, so this is about halfway. <laughs> Why is your bum so dusty? I fell <laughs> pretty hard. <laughs> directly on the, probably the meatiest part of my body. My legs are on fire! I can't breathe. I think this is gonna be like the end of my life. I'm dying. 
Seeing as we're not from Southern California, we did not know that the Hollywood sign is on an entirely different mountain way over there. So we're gonna focus on getting to the top of this mountain and see how the rest of our day goes. We finally got to the top. It's tough, but we're embracing the challenge and hopefully the hard work that we're putting in uh, definitely reflects on the scale. Mm -hmm.